Hello students, welcome to TSAT classes, welcome to the session on TSPSC group 1 prelims classes. As part of TSPSC group 1, we are starting a new series on Telangana policies and welfare schemes. In this Telangana policies and welfare schemes, if you look at the TSPSC group 1 prelims, Telangana policies is directly mentioned in the prelims and you can also expect questions in essay and as well as polity economy related topics of group 1 mains. But today, let us focus on prelims. In any state or look at the central government, the quantum of the work done by the government is measured by the application of the schemes for the poor by that government. Coming to Telangana, after 2014, the government of Telangana has bought enormous welfare schemes for upliftment of backward people in the state of Telangana. These schemes which are part of state were adopted by the center as well. And definitely two to five questions will come from this particular topic and that is Telangana policies and this policies includes welfare schemes as well. Whenever I use the term welfare, welfare of whom? Welfare of the marginalized classes in the society, welfare of the poor, economically weaker section, below poverty line, welfare of the handicaps, welfare of the women, welfare of the farmers. This is what I mean and when government is, government of Telangana is coming up with a policy on welfare of all these people that is called inclusive policy and meaning the state is going towards inclusive growth including all sections of the people. Starting from today, we will be dealing with five classes on Telangana policies for TSPSC group 1 prelims. I have divided these five classes into different categories. Let me introduce to these five categories. Category number one that is today as part of class one we will be looking at health related policies and schemes in Telangana. We will look at health related policies and schemes in Telangana. The second class, we will look at the farmers or agriculture related policies and schemes in Telangana. The third one, we will look into the education and forest related or linked policies and schemes in Telangana. And the fourth one is information technology and infrastructure policies related schemes in Telangana. Kaleshwaram project or IT, uh, TIAB, we have TSAT, all this we will look into the fourth component. Five, welfare schemes linked to vulnerable sections of the society. Like we have Shadi Mubarak, Kalyan Lakshmi and so on. Look at the first one, health related policies and schemes in Telangana, this is the first one we will look into, health related policies and schemes in Telangana. What we are going to see, see we will see, we will be covering the utmost important Telangana policies since 2014, since 2014, okay. Now, as class 1, 
we will look into health related policies and schemes in Telangana. And how we are going to see that? One, I will be asking you an objective type question related to that scheme. We will try to answer it. Then, if needed, we will know more information about that scheme. Consider the following and choose which of the following is or are the objective of KCR kit. See, here we are discussing about something called KCR kit. KCR kit is a prestigious scheme launched by Telangana government after 2014. Now look at this. Now the question is all about the objective of KCR kit. The objective of KCR kit is to reduce IMR, it is called IMR, infant mortality rate and MMR, maternal mortality rate. The objective of KCR kit is to reduce IMR and MMR in Telangana, absolutely correct. Second statement, the objective of KCR kit is to improve child sex ratio by encouraging birth of the girl child, absolutely correct. In KCR kit, 1000 extra is given to girl child. Total 12,000 is given to the deserving people to uh, a boy child and if girl child is there, 1000 extra that is 13,000 will be given and this is given in four installments. So answer is C, both the statements are correct. Now what we will do is let us decode KCR kit in detail. Let us see some more points related to KCR kit. KCR kit, it is launched on 2nd June 2017 for the people living below poverty line for people living below poverty line the government of telangana has launched this scheme on 2nd june 2017 so far 185462 kits have been distributed what is this kit what is there in that kit look at this look at this kcr kit consists of KCR kit consists of a mosquito net, mosquito net worth 350, a baby mask worth 90 rupees, a dress 200 rupees, two towels of 100 rupees, baby napkins 100 rupees, Johnson baby powder of 120 rupees, baby shampoo of 85 rupees, baby oil of 200 rupees. Baby soap of 90 rupees, a toy of 50 rupees, plastic bucket of 50 rupees, two saris for mother of 350 rupees, and a kit bag of 150 rupees. This is a kit bag. This is a kit bag. So, in total, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 items will be there. See, two towels now. 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Total of 15 items will be there. So, this KCR kit is launched on 2nd June 2017. In that, as on today, 10,85,462 kits have been distributed. Remember this for your exam. Look at the second point. Under the scheme, a monetary benefit of 12,000 rupees for boy child, 13,000 rupees for girl child is given in four installments. Four installments. It is given in four installments. Now, let us see what are these installments. Look at this. Under KCR kit, in four installments, two, three, four. 
12,000 rupees for boy child and 13,000 rupees for girl child is given. Look at this. First installment of 3,000 rupees is given when a pregnant woman register herself at a public health facility. This is given in fifth or sixth month. At least two ANC checkups by medical officer with IFA tablet and injection of TT within five, five to six months should be mandatory. So, when a pregnant woman register herself with a public health facility center of Telangana, in this five to six months, after pregnancy five to six months, 3000 rupees is given at the time of registration. Now, at the time of ninth month, at the time of ninth month, 5000 rupees is given for female child and 4000 will be given for the male child. But the condition is delivery should be compulsorily in public hospital only, in government hospital only. Delivery in public health institution only. The child has to be received BCG, OPV, zero dose and birth dose of hepatitis B. These are the vaccines. Only when these doses are done, only when they, the delivery take place in the public institution or public health facility, after the birth at ninth month, 5000 rupees if a girl child is born, 4000 rupees is if a boy child is born is given. So, total, let us calculate it for girl, 5 plus 3, 8000 received. For girl child, total is 13. Now, 5 plus 3 is done, 2 installments. Now, look at the third installment. 12 end of months, that is after 9th month, some 3 end of months you have to wait. At 2000 rupees is given by the government. If the child has received certain vaccines like OPV 1, 2, 3 and IPV 1 and 2 doses, child has to receive pentavalent 1, 2, 3 doses as well. And this is at the, at the, at the child age should be 3 and half months. That is it, right? From delivery, 3 and half months. After the child attains 3 and half months, there will be certain vaccines. Now, when these vaccines are given, a 2000 rupees is given plus 2. So, 5 plus 5. 10 is done. More 3000 is left. Fourth installment. A 3000 rupees is given after 18 months, that is, after 9 months after the baby is born. Child has to receive measles vaccine, vitamin A, JE first dose at the age of the ninth month or ninth month. So, under KCR kit, not only a kit consists of the essential items, but also monetary benefit is given. And this monetary benefit is 13,000 for a girl child, 12,000 for a boy child. Now, coming to the how this monetary compensation is given, it is given in four installments. One, after the pregnancy is confirmed between fifth and sixth month. Two, after the delivery at the ninth month. Three, three and of months older of the baby or the age of the baby should be three and a half months and fourth do fourth installment nine months after the baby is born to encourage the child sex ratio to encourage the girl child birth thousand rupees extra is given by the government but is this the objective there are more objectives as well look at this this is expected for the exam Anything out of these two points now I am discussing can be asked for your exam. So, try to understand. The main objective too is to encourage institutional deliveries. Now, what is the meaning of institutional deliveries? See, delivery in public facility, in public or uh, uh, public health facilities, primary health facilities in hospitals. 
not home deliveries. See, home deliveries, it is not hygienic and also there is a fear that the baby might mismatch. Institutional deliveries ensure the baby and the mother are safe health-wise. So, one objective is to increase the institutional deliveries. Look at the figures. When this scheme was started, institutional deliveries in India were only 30 percent. After the scheme has been enacted, today institutional deliveries increased from 30 to 56 percent, from 30 to 56 percent. Very, very important for the exam. Objective number 1. Now, what is the objective number 2? IFR to reduce infant mortality rate or IMR. This is called IMR. IMR. Infant mortality rate. So, because of the improper institutional deliveries, because of home deliveries, a child born is dying, which is very problematic in, 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 in Telangana and rest of the India. The infant mortality rate was 39. Today, after KCR kit program has been initiated, remember this for your exam, the infant mortality rate is 26. From 39, they brought it to 26. And the third objective is to reduce the maternal mortality rate, not only the child, because of the lack of awareness on how the delivery should be done, even the mother life is under stake. So, only to reduce the mater maternal mortality rate, KCR kit was introduced. Look at the figures. After this scheme has been introduced, maternal mortality rate reduced from 92 to 61. 92 to 61. See, IMR it decreased from 39 to 26. MMR reduced from 92 to 61. Okay, very, very important for the exam and institutional deliveries. Encourage institutional deliveries. Now, look at the fourth point and the last point what we are going to see. This year, that is in 2022 budget, in 2022 budget, Telangana government also introduced KCR nutrition kit for eradication of anemia anemia especially in women for eradication of anemia especially in women and KCR nutrition kit was also introduced. Which of the following statements is or are incorrect with respect to Ammavadi scheme in Telangana? See many of the people think that Ammavadi is a scheme which is there only in Andhra Pradesh. No, Ammavadi is a scheme which is also there in Telangana. Now let us see which of the following is an incorrect statement. With regard to Amma Vodi scheme. It is a scheme which is launched on 28th December 2016. This is a correct statement. This scheme provides free transport facilities in an ambulance to nearby government diagnostic centers. This is correct. The eligibility for this scheme is only for pregnant women, only for pregnant women who give birth at the government hospitals for a maximum of three deliveries. This is wrong. The toll free number for this scheme is 102. To avail this scheme is 102. This is correct. Look at the screen. Very, very important. It says, which of the following is wrong statement with regard to Amma Wadi scheme? Amma Wadi is a scheme which is launched by Telangana government to maximize the institutional deliveries in government hospitals only. This scheme was launched on 28th December 2016. Point number 2. Point number 3. This scheme can be availed by a pregnant woman only for a maximum of 
two deliveries, not three, for a maximum of two deliveries. For a maximum of two deliveries. To avail the scheme, a toll free number was generated by Telangana government, and that is your 102. When you call 102, an ambulance approaches to your house and take the woman, pregnant woman, to the nearest diagnostic center and also make sure there is no asyl. It's free of cost. There is no asyl as well. So, this scheme is very important. Many of the people don't know this. So, please remember this for the exam. So, this is wrong because it is three. It is actually two deliveries. This can be availed only for two deliveries, not three deliveries. Okay. Consider the following and choose which of the following is or are correct with regards to Arogya Lakshmi scheme. Arogya Lakshmi. Arogya. 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 Healthy. Then this is related to food, nutritious food. This scheme provides nutrition food to only pregnant women and lactating woman, woman only. This scheme provides nutrition food to pregnant women and lactating women only. The objective of this scheme is to reduce anemia in women. This scheme is launched on 1st January 2015 via ICDS project integrated integrated child development scheme ICDS scheme integrated child development scheme now let us decode the let us let us decode the options again and try to guess the correct answer the question says consider the following and choose which of the following is correct statement with regard to Arugya Lakshmi scheme now look at the first one this scheme provides nutrition food to only pregnant women, lactating women only. So, this is wrong because under this scheme, even a child is given nutritious supply of food. Not only pregnant women, but also lactating women and a child, a newborn child is also eligible for a nutritious supply of food through Anganwadi centers, that is ICDS centers. The objective of this scheme is to reduce anemia, correct? This scheme is launched on 1st January 2015 through ICDS project. This is also correct. Answer is C. 2 and 3 is correct. Let us see more about this scheme. Look at this. Under Arogya Lakshmi scheme, under Arogya Lakshmi, Arogya Lakshmi scheme, for a woman, a 200 liters or 200 milliliters of milk for 25 days a month and one egg each day will be given with a meal. A 200 ml of milk for 25 days along with that each day one egg will be given along with a meal. For children, now this is important for the exam remember, a children aged between see 7 months to 3 years. Children's see who are covered the children's between 7 months to 6 years are covered. But this child nutritious supply is divided into two categories. Category number 1, 7 months to 3 years. Category number 2, 3 years to 6 years. Now look at the first one. A child aged between 7 months to 3 years are provided with 16 eggs a month in addition to 2.5 kgs of food packets each day. For chil children aged between 3 to 6 years, one egg each day in addition to rice, dal, vegetables and snacks is supplied. 30 eggs are given, here only 16 eggs are given. So, see what is the age limit for Arogya Lakshmi is a question. 7 months to 6 years. Remember this for the exam. Now, this 7 months to 6 years age limit of child is divided into two categories. Category number 1. The child age is divided as 7 months to 3 years. 
where 16 eggs are given in a month. 2, 3 years to 6 years, 30 eggs are given. Each day, one egg is given. Okay. Now, next one. A total of 18,96,844 lactating mothers, 5,18,215 infants and 21,58,475 pregnant women were covered under this scheme with a budget of 627, almost 628 crores per year. Each year, 620 crores is used per year. Okay. Now, I hope you all understood what is Arogya Lakshmi scheme. What is Arogya Lakshmi scheme? Consider the following and choose the correct with respect to the implementation of Ayush program in Telangana. Ayush, Ayurveda, Yoga, Yunani, Shuddhi, Homeopathy. I am repeating this. Ayurveda, Yoga, Yunani, Shuddhi and Homeopathy. This is Ayush stands for. Ayurveda, Yoga, Yunani, Shuddhi, Homeopathy. Now, what is a, how Ayush is implemented in Telangana is a question. The Telangana State Medical and Aromatic Plants Board is the first in India to inspect the cultivated medical plants by using GPS. Absolutely correct. Ayush is a central scheme implemented in the state. This is also correct. Both the statements are correct. So, no problem. Happy. Important for the exam. I want everyone to remember this for the exam. Okay. Consider the following and choose the correct with regard to Arogya Sri scheme. See, Arogya Sri, a scheme, a landmark scheme launched by Vyas Rashekar Reddy Garu, which has been continued even after Telangana formed. After 2014. In 2022 budget, the Telangana government increased the Arogya Sri budget from 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs. Very important for the exam. So, till 2020, before 2022, per family per year, only up to 2 lakhs was claimed, was the limit. Now, in 2022 budget, Telangana government has increased this limit from 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs. A total of 322 hospitals across states are empaneled in this scheme. Both the statements are correct. This is important for the exam. Please look at some more points with regards to our guessing scheme. This scheme has been formulated primarily to support the poor families. According to Arogya Sri scheme in Telangana, below poverty line families will receive a financial protection of, from the government. They will get an amount of 5 lakh rupees per year in case they are suffering from serious illness. The Arogya Sri scheme includes treatment and surgery cost required for these people. As many as 538 treatments will be made available under Aragya C scheme. But remember only one point. I am expecting this question for the exam. The annual cost of the government on a family under Aragya C has been increased from 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs in 2022 budget. In which of the following places, Telangana Institute for Medical Sciences was proposed in 2022 budget. It is called TIMS. Telangana Institute for Medical Sciences. Telangana Institute for Medical Sciences. It is proposed in four places. I am telling you. Alwal, Ragadda, LB Nagar, Gachpul. All are correct. It is proposed in four places in GHMC limits. Alwal, Ragadda, LB Nagar and Gachpul. Remember this for the exam. This is also expected because I have also kept some current affairs, current related topics in this Telangana policies. 2022 budget related thing. Alwal, Eragadda, Elbinagar, Gachpul. TIMS, Telangana Institute for Medical Sciences is proposed. Telangana government proposed to establish 8 medical colleges in 8 districts in 2022. Okay, In 2022, there is a proposal to establish 8 medical colleges by Telangana government in 8 districts. 
choose which of the following is not part of the eight districts. Jai Shankar Bhopalapalli, it is part. Omarambim Asifabad, Vikarabad, answer is Rangareti. Rangareti is not under the list of eight districts. You look at the eight districts now. One, Jai Shankar Bhopalapalli, Komarambim Asifabad, Vikarabad district, Kammam district, Sirisella district, Kamareddy, Jengam, and Karimnagar. The government of Telangana has proposed to establish, has proposed to establish eight new medical colleges in eight districts in 2022 financial year. So these are the Telangana health linked welfare schemes which are important for our exam. Now to continue this series of Telangana policies, see you all again with the next class on Telangana policies and the next class will be on farmers linked Telangana policies. Uh, until then, revise again. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.